uh, hello there, my YouTube buddies. Um, as you'll notice, I'm back in the spa area today of the pool. As today, I'm, um, you know that I'm a bit of a fitness freak and trying to get back into my fitness. So today, I'm going to be doing uh, an indoor triathlon. Um, so it will consist of, today should consist of uh, one mile in this pool, which is only a small pool. It's only uh, 15 meters long. So that's going to be about 110 lengths uh, in this pool. Then when I've finished in the pool, I will go get dressed, go up, bike for uh, 42 kilometers or 45 kilometers, depending how I feel. Then I'm going to get off the bike and do a 5k run. So it's not a full triathlon, but um, as I've said to you, I'm going to put some, some videos on of me doing my exercise stuff and what I enjoy doing. Um, so let's hope I can shake these cobwebs off today. I'm going to get somebody here that works here to help me uh, film myself swimming to show a little bit of that, that I can actually swim and it's not just me pretending before and after. Um, so we'll see how we get on and um, hope you get something from it and if it helps, it's all good. So I'm just going to get ready to get in the pool now. incredibly noisy in that pool um, but that's the 110 links down in the 15 meter pool now it's obviously not like a triathlon where I've got to get out change quickly or jump on the bike straight away so although I do try and keep my time down I'm a little bit out of breath here so I'm gonna quickly get changed go up to the bike so I'll see you guys in probably two minutes so as I said swim done now we're onto the bike and you'll see from that clock I'm on zero distance at the bottom. Uh, time 27, 30 seconds as I've been sitting on it. Um, don't know what that means. And my speed at the moment, I'm doing 25 kilometers an hour. So listen, the bike is probably the better of the three. So let's carry on with the cycling, get into this. I'll show you the clock at the end. Um, I'm not quite sure whether this is going to take me 30 minutes, 40 minutes or an hour. Um, sometimes I wish I didn't start these things but uh, you'll probably see me shortly, top will be off and we'll be cracking on. So that's me in the mirror at the distance. I've got one other guy in the room that's doing a bit of cycling. So uh, he's over there. So I'm not sure if he's finished or he's just starting but so here we go. Um, I'll catch you and I'll film the rest or towards the end as we're finishing. Okay, so I look forward to seeing you when I'm done. So I've decided to pick up the camera a little way through. We're uh, 11 minutes in and it's getting quite hard. I don't just cycle along, making it easy. What I try and do is uh, <coughs> up the pace, up the tempo of the bike. It's a spinning bike that I'm on, so it's better than doing it on an exercise bike. But what we're gonna do now is twist the, uh, the little dial, which is down here, and this starts putting me uphill on an uphill climb, which I'm going into now. As you notice, my legs are going slower. Okay, here we go. Now it's getting hard. And we want this for the last minute. It's not the last minute, but it's the next minute. Okay? And to be honest, if I sat down, 
I wouldn't be able to pedal. The pedal is absolutely stiff. The sweat is pouring off my back. I can feel it running down. It's not the best considering I went out cycling yesterday afternoon after a gym session and I covered 25 miles. Okay, we've got 15 seconds up this hill and then we'll have a little down up hill. So now let's ease that off. My legs can go like the clappers. And I'm going to drop full so see. I've taken off my shirt, it's so hot. Um, I'm feeling it already. Uh, I've been cycling now for 15 minutes. Uh, I've not even covered 10 kilometers. So it was that hill that just done me. So join me again. 29 minutes, 43 seconds. Every five minutes I'm going up a hill. Um, so now it's all right. But about eight seconds, so here we go. Let's start going up this hill. So we'll up it a little bit. Make it a little bit harder. In a minute I'm gonna to have to stand. Not that I recommend standing on a bike when you go up a hill, it's better to stay in your saddle. As you see, most tour riders stay in their saddle for longer. Here we go. So, now it's stand up time for this minute. Hoping by the end of this one, 20 kilometers. So we're at the brow of the hill. So here we go. Let's go down. 33 minutes um, of cycling. Uh, distance 21.2 kilometers. Bear in mind now, I've got to get off of here soon to do a 5k run minimum. I'm feeling it. Before the 5k run, I'll be doing some abs, which I prefer to do, as I said, it's not a, an official uh, triathlon, it's more for personal exercise. So we'll do some abs after this and then straight into a run. And I hope you're taking something from it. And if you're into a bit of fitness, give it a go in your local gym before you go out. It's good exercise, it's good training. Slow this down. A bit quicker than what I do. On the, on the road, um, but then again, I'm against the wind and real elements on the road. So, as you can see there, it's 33.3 in 50 seconds, 40, uh, 50 minutes, 40. And then look, I've burned 890 calories. So, I'm more than happy with that. I'm gonna get off now. So, it's a swimming dump, one mile. Cycling dump, 32 kilometers. As I say, it's not a race today. It's just really exercise and training. I need to get changed. Um, take in lots of water as well, guys, if you're gonna do this, if you're gonna give this a go. Uh, take in lots of water um, or fluids. Um, I'm not gonna keep boring you with my rambling. So, I'm gonna get changed, do some abs, and then some running. So, okay, so as you can see, I've got changed. Um, swim done, biking done. Now we're going to, you've seen this before in one of my other videos. I tend to do 30 crunches, then I'll do 30 uh, leg raises for lower stomach. Then I'll do me obliques on this, 20 on each side. And then another, um, maybe 60 of legs at bottom. Okay, let's have a go see if this works. So, what we're going to do, start legs at the top, 30. Now, then for stomach last. Then, we'll cross over for obliques. On the other side. Basically, put your legs out, so this will do you for full stomach again. Now, do some leg raises with your crunches. And then legs right back, crunching again. And up. And there, you will see 
that's uh, one set on there. Now I will do some leg raises uh, again for lower abs, but again it's on uh, what's called the Roman chair. You've seen this before on the other video. Um, jump up, elbows on the pads, raising your legs for lower. Okay. see um, leg raises for lower abs. Um, I need to save some battery here as uh, I've got to get on the treadmill yet. Now what I'm going to do with this is drop this bench down and then what we're going to do is 15 to 20 on here. Okay, 20 on there. Please be careful when you do this guys, not to uh, put your hands behind your head and pull your head forward. It's really not good for you and you'll hurt your back. What you should try and do if you do this is when you focus, focus on something on the ceiling so that when you come up your head's staying at the same level, level with your back. Now we've got one more thing to do. And let's make sure, yep, yeah, we've got it here. What we're going to do, put a mat down. I have to do three lots of these circuits. And you see this? This little wheel. This is really good for your core. So we get the wheel, we'll stretch. Okay, now, so you've seen, uh, that's one circuit. I've got another two lots of them to do. So it's about 100 on the first machine. Uh, then we'll have 20 leg raises into the normal sit-up machine and into the rollouts for your core. Really good, it's much better if obviously if you've got somebody here to help you, somebody to film. But uh, we've managed to get by. back after three lots of those uh, sit-ups and abs. Um, I'm, I'm really feeling it and behind my knees the um, it's hurting behind my knees but I'm gonna give it a go so as you'll see from this the machine is on zero so let's get it started and here we go I'm gonna have to put the camera down now because we're starting and I'm gonna see if I can cover five kilometers um, which will be a damn good effort for me if I can well, that's uh, 5k done, over 5k, I've had to have a little walk before I can even talk on here. This is uh, my time, at the moment as you can see, 25 minutes, 5k 21. So, there you have one of my attempts at getting fit with an indoor triathlon, which uh, included a one mile swim followed by 33 kilometers on the bike the one mile swim took me about half an hour uh, I think maybe need to double check the bike took me 50 minutes and the run has just taken me 25 so it's over an hour and a half but oh, listen I'm 48 next month um, and this time last year I was only just out of hospital after being hit on my bike and being in a coma, so I'm not looking for sympathy. But listen, guys, if you want to do this, you can do it. Please, watch the video. Thanks for watching, those who have. Subscribe. Uh, wait for the next ones. We've got some good things coming up. The stuff coming out on Saturday. We're going to firework display for uh, uh, like a Fiesta's party in Elche. It's a shame that they all run on the same day. Altea, Elche, Constantine. They're all running on the same day. Um, so we're going to Elche because it's local and we can apparently get a good viewpoint. So then, uh, they might have a little holiday break on the 22nd. 
but uh, we'll be going out next week for some meals and some home cooking as well so please subscribe stay in touch uh, ask me anything that you need to ask I'm out of here to go and get some of that lovely view that you've all seen before uh, this is where my gymnasium is uh, it's on the La Marina campsite uh, it's just not too far from where I live and this is where I subscribe every month uh, at the fee of 55 euros including the spa which is beautiful so now I'm gonna head out there to some sun I'm gonna go home have a nice smoothie an omelette and then go and pick up my beautiful daughter from the airport so thanks for watching guys subscribe see you soon